Hello, hello, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and I'm back. And we are here today to work in, once again, the Countryside Journal. This is a 49 and market paper. It comes as a six pack, and I got mine. Oh, a six pack. Hey, there we go. <laughs> it comes with six papers, and I got mine from Shannon at Mixed Media Minnesota. Um, you'll have to check and see if she has any extras. It's great paper. I did buy some additional items to go with it. Um, a smaller paper pack that are that measure um, 6 by 8 inches. Um, I did that because I wouldn't allow myself to buy two 12 by 12 uh, paper packs. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to learn how to use just one pack of paper instead of buying two, which I normally do. I normally buy two. So recently I've gone to buying one pack with a smaller pack, but you know, they've got my number anyway. <laughs> so I said we would, um, go from here back to here to put this addition on it. Now I made this addition out of another file folder. It's exactly like the first one. However, I cut this flap off and I cut this flap off. So it's going to go back here. Now I debated whether or not I should just glue this completely to this piece. Um, and then I debated um, putting these hinges on it and making a pocket, which is what we're going to do. Um, but it kind of weakens, it weakens this spine. So what I've done is I've cut a piece of old file folder. This is really old file folder. Um, my half inch plus my three quarter inch. So one and a fourth inches wide by the length of your journal. By the height of your journal. And this is going to get glued on back here after I apply this section to this section. So since we know we're going to do that, um, this flap becomes unusable unless we cut this down slightly and put the a pocket, you know, thumb hole thing in it. So um, let's go ahead and or we can remove this I don't really want to remove it um, but see if we move this down we'll be able to apply this uh, we'll be able to flop this down over that and then we might um, we might put it down with either magnets or another little roundy tie. Probably just do a roundy tie in this one. Magnets will add a lot of bulk and the roundy ties, if we're careful, we can keep them fairly fairly flat. And by a roundy tie, I mean this and not adding <laughs> too much bulk like this. So, um, I have to maintain myself, my goodness. So I want to cut this down. Um, we could cut it down as one big pocket like this. Or we could angle it like we've done this, but we would go clear across. Um, I kind of like these angle cuts. I don't know why, but I do. I guess because it adds a little more interest to it. So if we were to do that, we could probably leave 
this height or this width here and that would make it stronger but we could come in a couple of inches on each side and make our little cut and that might be better that way it would stay out of the way of these so let's just see hey the worst thing that could happen is I could ruin this right and I have more file folders so I'm not too concerned about that so I need my envelope cutter what did I do with it I wonder hello envelope cutter where did you go Well, I don't even know what an Angelo would do with an envelope cutter. Do you? Do you see it? <laughs> oh no! It's gone! Okay, let's look over here. No, not there. Not on the floor. Let me put that away. Let me get this out of the way. Oh my goodness. I don't know. It's nearby. I'm going to cover this. Put that back on there. As I try to find my stuff. And I'm wrinkling this all up. So I'm going to put it along with this uh, weather vane. I'm going to set it up there because that's where it needs to go. Okay. Envelope cutter. Where did you go? Ooh, I see it. It's hiding. My goodness. That was a lot of work. And I dumped my ephemera box. Oh, there we go. There's the ephemera box. Okay. Let's get that out of there. Wow, Whew. what a fiasco this is. Oh, goodness. Save this piece. We don't want to lose it. Okay. Oh, a piece of string. Won't fit anything. Let's get rid of our heavy-duty string here. Okay. That's out of the way. Get that out of the way. And that, and that, and that, and that. Hang on while I clean up just a tad bit. You can always tell when you need to clean up because you can't find a thing. <laughs> Put my pokey tool over there. My pencils over there. One folder. Okay. Here we go. I'm ready. Okay, the side with the hinges on it. Now normally I would do one inch. Um, lining it up on the one here with the fold here. But I think today we'll do one and a half inches. Um, that should be enough to hide this. So put a punch there and make my divot. Let's flip this over. And this fold line we want to put at one and a half. Okay. Yeah, see that works out pretty good. That covers this, this piece up. The flaps up. Okay. No, nope, I can't go there. It can go there though. Okay. So now we need to cut this piece out. So we'll grab our trimmer. And like I have said before, you um, 
line you line up you line up the bottom of that divot with your wire or your trimmer um, piece that you know wherever yours cuts I think that will do it and then you bring this inside there And when you feel it go loose, it should be in the divot. So there we go. Got a nice little cut there. And let me put this over here on the floor. Okay. I need to um, bone fold this piece down a little bit. Um, the washi tape on it on both sides makes it um, kind of floppy almost. Okay. Oh, I'm <laughs> going the wrong direction. No wonder it's not right. Okay. So here we go. Let's go ahead and put glue on these. Oh, before we do that. Let's look here and decide. What do we want to do right here? Well, I have some little pieces of documents. And this is Rachel at Roxy Creations. So I think what I'd like to do is um, maybe put some of this in here. And then we'll use some more of this when we make our um, her weekly project piece that we're going to put into this journal. The document holder. Okay, so that it's not going to show very much. So what I want showing are the words. So I'm going to cut this piece off right here. And these are um, some of the documents that Rachel has on her page. She has a lot of them, and they are absolutely delicious. Not to eat, but eye candy. Wonderful, wonderful eye candy. Now I'm going to save that because I'll be able to use it for words or something like that. Um, don't, I don't try not to save a whole lot of stuff, but I do save quite a bit. <laughs> okay, bring your thing over here and see how much it's going to show. Not a lot. So we only need to cut it um, probably right about here. We want it to go in far enough that it, um, when you look in it, you know, you see the document piece in there. And then I think what we'll do is go ahead and put this down first and then we'll slide this in. That way it will be covering this piece on both sides so that things will continue to slide in and out of there quite nicely. So we don't need to go clear to the end. We'll leave a little bit of space on it so that I can and I'll save that because I will reuse it. Okay, so that should be enough to fit in there. Okay, now we need to decide about this piece here. 
I think that we're going to need to give it a little bit of a score. So a second score, like an eighth of an inch here. And that way this will fold over nicely onto the other page. So we're going to open this up and get our scoreboard. And I'm just going to slide that down. There's a, it's right on the six there. That's a good place. Well, not six. Let's see. Six. Six is on that line right there. Okay. And so right here, right next to that, whoops, six. We're going to go six and an eighth. And that will give it a little bit of a roll over there. It will kind of round out. Sorry, I know that's noisy. It gives it a little bit of a lump there, but it will kind of um, it will kind of round out. Now, I think what we'll do is just go over this piece with um, the vintage photo. I was using the green, but then as I go on, went along, I realized rather quickly that um, the green works for certain areas, but in to keep it in keeping with the rest of the journal now, I'm, I've gone to the vintage photo. There we go. Oh, I think that'll work. So I guess I started my timer. That's good on good on me. Yay, Angela. Oh, now we need to go in here and do vintage photo as well. could do is put the next piece of the document right here, which would be kind of cool, I think. Let's get rid of this. The one thing that is going to happen when we put the binder binding on the back, that's more solid piece of stuff is that it's going to come up onto here. So we have to take that into consideration. So with all of that said, and I ink this, I didn't didn't need to because I was going to put washi tape on it. Um, just to um, secure that because it's quite um, let's see that's an eighth I think we could get away with just using the the, the half inch this time and so we will cover that and we could do the outside as well. I mean, there's nothing that says we can't. You know, if you want to be sure that it's going to... I don't know why I'm making such a mess. <laughs> but I am. Look at me go. Right here. That's what I'm looking for, really. Uh, 
um, we might just wrap this clear around. The file folders are really nice, but they wherever there's a fold in them, they do get weak. The paper gets weaker and weaker the more it opens and closes. Um, so, let me look at that. Um, I don't really want to wrap that over that because it covers that flower too much. And it inhibits that pocket a little bit there. So I'm just going to cut it off right here. This is repositionable um, washi tape. So if you have this, remember you'll need to glue it down. Otherwise, it will reposition all on its own. Sometimes you gotta get underneath everything to get a good close slice here. Just getting the extra washi tape off. There we go. Um, okay. Coming back to here, we're going to put this in here. But first we're going to put this down. I'm almost out of glue. You use a lot of glue on these when you... Um, Now, I really don't want that to get in the way of the spine there, so I'm going to clip that a little better. Okay, let me get all the way down to there. This is going to be a little harder, so you might have to get your edge up there. Oops! It's okay if it goes over because we're going to end up covering it. Okay, so line up your the back part of your spine. And then we'll line up the front a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do it this way because this will be easier. Bring that back up so we've got both spines down. Hope you can see what I'm doing here. I want these two to be as even as possible back here. Oh, I didn't get that out of the way enough right there. But we are going to glue this to this and that is going to give us a nice stiff spine and this is where some of this will actually end up getting covered with washi tape okay so let's see let's let that dry a little bit 
And while that's drying, let's come up here. And bone fold that down a little bit. Okay, oops, I hope I didn't move it. Okay. Now we want to put this piece inside of here. Just like this. So I have to make sure it fits. First of all, you need to trim just slightly here. And then I'm going to round this just a little bit so it doesn't get caught up on things. not going to matter. We're not going to see it. It just will help it slip in better. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. Now, I realize hardly anything shows there, but that's okay. I like it. Whoops, I just lost it. Okay, I need to go back over here. I need to put some more glue. up the glue and I need to get a bulldog clip and clip it down and I think probably I better go ahead and bulldog clip here too so let's look at the other end Bulldog clip here. And I think we better bulldog clip right there. Okay. So let's let this dry for about a half an hour and then I'll come back and we'll look at how it's doing and see if, what else we might need to do to it. What do you need done? What operation are we gonna do? And that should work out fine. I can see this pocket is wanting to come up here too. So I'm just going to squish some glue in there. And I'm going to bulldog clip it as well. There we go. Okay. It just needed some drying time. I've been, you know, kind of working on it quite a bit. So um, when it starts to get soft and pulling apart, it's time to stop and clip things together, let them dry for about a half an hour. Um, this should be good and dry by then. So let me plug this up. Let me stop my timer, 28 minutes. I'll be right back as soon as this is dry. Hi, I'm back. The journal has been drying for about an hour. I'm going to restart our timer at 28 minutes. Before I go any further, let me tell you, <clears throat> putting this on here is not going to work. And I'll show you why, because if it's on here, we can open this, but not all the way. It would get stuck right here. And then um, once we flip here, then this will just stand like this. So it makes the double spine not a working. So that is out. We are going to go like this. And when we get to um, 
something to cover our spine, fabric will work because it will still allow this piece to open and this piece to open. Um, we'll probably just darken some of that stuff in. So anyway, that will not work. I'm glad I discovered that before we <laughs> applied anything. Okay, let's go to here. And I should have dried this in the open position because now it's kind of wrinkly. Yeah, well, you know, so it goes. I'm going to ink up my edge here. <laughs> Gotta figure out where I tossed everything. Okay, I'm going to get this out of my way. Just going to have to roll it back there. There we go. And we're going to put some glue in here. Oops, I wasn't going to go all the way to the bottom, but I had this in my hand the wrong direction. So, now we are going all the way to the bottom. Alright. So we want to just stick this in there. If we can, I gotta get those scissors off there so, so that I can really open this up. And this is going to go it's going to stick to me first. Right in there. this under there. And there we go. There's that part. Okay, so this is going to come over and close here. So let's decorate this piece. Um, I'm not going to put this paper on here. I think we'll go with the, the papers we have. Um, we have some left. We could put this on here. That would be upside down, Angela. So we could put this one on here. The yellow back I'm not too concerned about using. So I think I'd like to put this here. So first of all, we'll need to um, I'm looking at this, how far I want to to go. I'm probably close to the edge, but it doesn't need to be all the way to it. I don't know why I'm drawing so many lines here. So let's cut this one off. Hi, Lippy. Oh, you got it. You got a ball. Oh boy. I'm going to cut this piece off first because we don't need that piece on there. And um, we could save it if we wanted to save some of that. It has some pretty stitching in it that might go on a page. That would look good. 
I'll toss that in the basket for now. And I'll line this up. There we go. So this will go from there to there. Oops, upside down again, Inge. No. Oh. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Uh, well, you know, I should know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, let's flip this around this direction. Run that up to there and this to here. And we'll cut this piece off. This is going to go on the next page. Our dog has been harassing us all day long because she wants extra treats today. Now, that should leave enough there, okay. So I need to go back here, and we measured this at one and a half inches. So we're going to do the same thing here to get our pocket there. And I need the envelope one. So we're going to go one and a half. Here, flip this over. Oh, it's going to cut off part of my flower, isn't it? One and a half. It's going to cut off a lot of my flower. But we have the leaves there, so we'll be able to put some um, of our little ephemera flowers back in, I believe. Okay. Once again, lining just the bottom of the divot here. I can see that line right there is going to be the one. There. Oh, that looks nice. So, well, we didn't lose too much of it, did we? Just a tiny little bit. Nothing to complain about. So, let's see. Um, I want to say hello all to my all my new subscribers. Boy, I sure appreciate it. And since you're watching this and I've mentioned subscribers, um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Got a lot more great content coming up. Um, we are right now in the middle of a project, which I hope to get all the way through. And then I do one to two weeks of, um, I want to do a couple weeks of um, quick projects. So in between projects. Um, maybe, you know, one, one week or I don't know, whatever. It's uh, when I catch up on Marguerite Miller and... Um, do all that kind of stuff. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Woohoo! Okay, now before we glue this down, do we need something here? I think we do. And I think whatever it is is going to have a little button tie here and a little button tie here. So where's that other envelope? I know we had one. I know, I know, I know. I know we did. Okay, let me move my trimmer to a neat and trim spot. Um, oh 
Okay, you know, I talked about all kinds of things I'm going to be doing back here, and here I am doing something different. Oh, goodness. Let's see. Now, we do have these, which could actually flop right on top of that. If one goes under and one goes over, the piece is locked, correct? Not really. It's incorrect. Okay, so we have those. Ooh, this might be nice over here. Look. Got a little flippy pocket and something else. <laughs> I also have these large ones. Okay. Where's my other envelope? I'm a looking, I'm a looking. Ah. Looky here. So. If we would like to put an envelope in here, this would be the place to do it before we glue this down. Okay, now that means instead of making a loop over the top, we could just put like a button over here, here, and here, and then it could go from here to there, and that would be a triple loop tie. That would be kind of cool. We haven't done one of those in a long, long, long while. Um, I think with this envelope, we will leave it open on one side and I'm not even sure that I want the window in it this time but the windows are cool aren't they they really are quite cool we know we have to trim it down um, let me look one second Libby, what you doing? I do have one of these. And I kind of like that. That's an envelope. And that would make a nice tie area. Could do one here and one here, and then this would flip open, and we would have a nice pocket right there. I think we'll do that this time. Um, that looks like it will be a much better pocket for us, and will give us quite a bit of space. Now, it's not a document holder like I wanted to put on here. But nothing says we can't do something over here. Um, the most important thing is, is we need to get a signature in here. This is where our signature is going to go because we ran out of space over here by putting in these extra pockets. So, um, that's definitely going to have a signature in it. And you can see there is enough space for it right there. So that would be good. Okay. So our envelope would flop open and this would be the access to it. We would leave the access right there. Um, I think that would be good. So I want to evenly put this between these two lines so we have eight and a half inches
Um, one, two, three, four, five. So, let's see. That's one and three quarters. And that is one and three quarters. So we have it just about even right there. So that would work. I think before we glue it in, we'll put our little piece of ephemera in here. And I also think that we'll go ahead and cut this off because it's just going to get in our way and it will eventually just flop right off of there. So let's open that up. And I'll clip it off. There's one. And we'll strengthen this up with added paper. So on the inside here, this little pad you see here is just a little rubbery mat. It's very thin as you can see through it, um, but you can clean it. And so I have two of these here that I'm using to try and keep my, my clean stuff clean because <laughs> I make a big mess. I do. I don't mean to, but I do it all the time. And I think we'll go ahead and cover the inside of this with this one. Now that is going to be a, a flippy thing. So I think we'll cover it like this and tuck some in. This will give it just a little bit of security right here on that piece. So right here we're going to cut that off and then should tuck in right about there. Get that out of the way. Um, okay. This way. There. Save that. I'm going to save that extra little piece there. Now, what in the heck? Where's my pencil line? Can't tell. There it is. Right. Sometimes we just have to darken them up a little bit so we can see them. Before we go any further, let's make sure this is going to fit. And it is just like that. And we want to leave it just a little over the edge there. Sometimes I don't know if it's going to fit in there right or not. Make sure it's going the correct direction. I'm making a mess. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, she is. She's making a giant mess. Let's make 
sure there's no glue on the inside because we don't want to glue our wonderful little envelope closed. Now it's okay with me it doesn't come all the way up. We have ink that will take care of that. Put some darker ink around the edges. Okay. Now, let's find that fold. Should not fold it while it's still wet, but we're going, I'm going to. You can let yours dry. Okay. That's the most important part, right there. Now we want to take this and we're going to apply it right here. And that looks about even. Well, maybe there. So let's make sure we got the text going in the right direction. We do, and this is going in the right direction. I'm just going to hold that down over there. I think I'm out of glue, guys. I think so. Okay. Have a peek. Now, if you want it to have um, a little more give in it, you can go ahead and put in a little bit of more of a score line and that'll make it open and close a little bit easier. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this in right over here. Like this. Now if you want to add an extra envelope here, this is the time you would do it. Um, if you think you need a, another envelope, you could add one over here before you cover the other one. And then you would cover this whole thing here. Or you could make that even a tuck spot right there. And then you would have two envelopes and you still have room for one signature in there. But that doesn't leave us any room over here. We might not be going to do the document pocket, but maybe do the matchbook pocket back here. Um, let's see, what else do we have? We do have that one. No, I don't want that one. Um, here is the document thing that I was thinking about doing, something like that. We just do one envelope. Let's look. Okay, there's one envelope. And then we have our little document extras right there. That could still work, plus give us a signature. Perhaps we wouldn't have so many documents in it that, you know, because this one has, let's see, 
that's a uh, double-sided paper um, I double-sided it so but there's like one I double-sided oh well, there's one two three four five six seven pieces of uh, document type items in here maybe we wouldn't put them in put so many in but I love this idea that we would have a document piece now your document piece could go over here and it would be out of the way of the journal plus it would flip open to here what do you think I think that might be what we'll do we'll make a document um, flipper folder thing over here and then our string that's going to close this will come out from underneath there and we won't have a button over there Ooh, I like that idea okay so first of all let's put this down we have this glued on we're going to glue this on because we decided not to put an extra envelope on it oh I think my glue is done hello are you gone I think it is I don't know if it's gone or if it's just plugged up let me grab some glue Sneaky peaky. It must have been empty because it's taken a while to get to the top. It's almost there. There it is. <laughs> that is to the top. that up set it over there now this will probably pop out the top because it's gets its little pressure in there and and there it is okay back to work we say And by now it really is plugged up whoops I'm going to have to unplug that hole a little bit First, let's get this one down and finished. Take any off the edges that don't belong there. Bring this down. 
and we're going to line up the front on this one first because that's where our open the book this closes. Make sure this does its thing. And off just a little bit. But I think it's going to be okay. I don't think I can move it. Oh, there I did. Just a tiny bit. So I'll have to re-glue this. There we go. Now I'll probably have to go ahead and put a bulldog clip on that right down here. Let's take a look up here. I'm going to have to put a bulldog clip here as well. Now that came up because I didn't get it in there far enough I guess I need a tiny bulldog clip right there right there and Okay, well that brings us up to one hour and a couple minutes. So we are going to stop right here for today. Um, we have this piece attached, we have this attached, and we have an idea of where we're going from here to get our document holder on there, how we're going to put our ties in to close it and keep it closed. And then we have a journal to insert and then this page and this page. Okay, thank you for joining me today. I hope you're enjoying this um, little tutorial. Um, tutorials do um, combine into several videos, so um, just hang with me. Uh, if you're not into tutorials, um, when this project's done, then I will put in some additional, um, just quick, fun videos. Um, I'm not always quick at my videos. Um, <laughs> I try to keep them under an hour. So anyway, I will talk to you tomorrow and I hope you all have a great day. Bye. Like and subscribe, please. Bye.